Welcome to Project Car Media and welcome back to the RSX videos. In this video, we're gonna be moving to the exterior of the car. We're going to be trying to make it look a little bit better. As you've seen in the reveal video, the paint had a lot of scratches on it. The front bumper pretty much just needs to be replaced and there's a bunch of other little imperfections. So today what we're gonna be doing is replacing the taillight gaskets putting LED bulbs in the taillights, putting LED bulbs in the new headlights and putting those in, um, and then taking off the front bumper and see if I can just do a really cheap budget fix on it before I decide if I'm gonna replace it or not because it's a lot of money. And then uh, I actually picked up a front lip for the front bumper that kind of looks like the A-Spec lip and it'll look really good. And then I'm also going to be trying to get some of the scratches off of the driver's side door and quarter panel area. So really we're just working on the exterior of the car, trying to make it look a little bit better than it currently does. We'll see how it works out. So stick around. So we're gonna move to the back here and replace these taillight gaskets because I believe that the stock taillight gaskets were leaking. Uh, there was water in a spare tire well and the uh, gaskets leaking are a really common problem here. Now, it would be so easy if I could just remove the taillights and put a new gasket in, but unfortunately, uh, like the front, the entire bumper needs to be taken off because underneath here, there's a bracket with a couple bolts and I need to take that bracket off in order to get the taillight out. So let's go ahead and work on getting the bumper off and then we'll move to getting the taillights out. Okay, first thing we need to do is take out these three screws. There's actually a bolt right here where this cutout is. I think it's like an eight or a 10. Now we need to do that on both sides and then we should be able to just pull the bumper off. I got the screws off on the side, but of course there was these two clips underneath. And as soon as I took them out, a bunch of this red dirt just fell right out. And that definitely goes with this guy living in uh, central Oregon because that's what they use on the roads instead of salt for the most part. Now that the bumper is all loose, I should be able to just pull it off and then we'll see what we got. Got the rear bumper off and it's it's pretty rough. Like when you actually look underneath here and there's some scuffs right there, uh, the rear bumper is not in the best condition, but you know, there's not a whole lot I can do. I'm not gonna spend the money on a rear bumper. This is what the back of the car looks like without the bumper and as you can see these are the brackets right here that basically hold the tail light in but they also hold the bumper too these are these are clips for the bumper so they not only hold the bumper but they hold the tail light so as you can see there's one bolt here and another bolt right here once we take those out then we can hop on the inside pop off the panels and get the tail light out after I pulled those bumper bolts, there's this piece of trim here, which is that. Uh, I was able to just kind of pull it off, and then I was able to take off the covers that go right here for the uh, to cover the tail lights. And as you can see, uh, there's just a couple like nuts that we have to take off. And if you look closely, this right here is the old tail light gasket. So once we get these little nuts off, then the whole tail light should come right out, and we can inspect the tail light gaskets. Here is the driver's side tail light, and as you can see, the gasket um, is the gasket is really old and used, and it's a lot thinner than the one that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one on here, and then we'll clean up the uh, mating surface here, and then we'll try the other side. Here's the passenger side. Uh, looks pretty good actually. So I'm not sure if the water was coming in from the tail lights, but I'm gonna put the new gaskets on and we'll clean up where they mount and then we're going to actually put the led bulbs in before we put the taillights back in i got the taillight area cleaned up on both sides back here just so that when we put the new gaskets on uh, no water will leak through because everything is clean i'm gonna show you guys the new gasket here so you can see it pretty much lines up with every single stud except for this guy right here i'm not sure why there's no hole for it so i just kind of put it right there but as you can see like the holes for the bulbs are much smaller 
than the old gasket and that will help with uh, leakage and stuff like that and i also gave them a, just a little bit of a polish um i had some of this mcguire's mirror glaze laying around it's like you know fine cut cleaner it's not going to do a whole lot but uh the, the tail lights actually look a lot better than they did and i just did one one coat and one wipe on them and they're still scratched and swirls and stuff like that but they're definitely a lot more clear now which will look really great with the new led bulbs here's the assortment of led bulbs we got for the rear now it looks like a lot but let me walk you through what we have uh, these are just little g generic leds white leds i've actually had laying around so i'm going to put two of these in the license plate lights and then one of them is going to go into the cargo area there's a little light in there. Next up, we have our turn signals. Now I paid a little bit extra for these because they have resistors built in, so they shouldn't, should be able to just plug and play with no hyper flash. Next up, we have our reverse lights. Now these are gonna be super bright white reverse lights. And then we have our brake lights. Now because uh, each side has two brake light bulbs, I needed to buy two sets, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and plug one side in and make sure that the, the running lights work, the brake lights work, and the turn signals work. Check how bright these LEDs are, man. Those red ones are just on the running light. I'm not even, I haven't even hit the brake pedal and that turn signal, no hyper flash and it's super bright. So this is gonna look really, really good. I haven't actually tested the reverse light yet, but I will uh, when I show you guys the finished product. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, put the tail lights back in and put the bumper back on and we'll see what it looks like. What do you guys think? Oh man, it looks so good with these LEDs. It's so bright and oh, it looks so cool. I wish you guys could see in person because in the camera it looks pretty good, but in real life, the colors look awesome. And I think those taillights look so cool. I even got the LED in the license plate light there. So everything is looking really awesome back here. And I'm super happy with these LEDs. They actually worked out really well and they're nice and bright as you can see. And yeah, so now the back is done. I've shown you guys these before. I got brand new headlights. We've got some new turn signal LEDs as well as some new LED headlight LEDs. And then I actually picked up this Dupacolor Nighthawk Black Pearl paint pen here. So. This was um, about 40 bucks, but it's quite a bit cheaper than a $400 painted bumper. Uh, so we're gonna try to fill in all of the rock chips with this and see if it can be passable. Uh, there, there's a chance that they will really stick out because the rest of the bumper might be a little bit more faded. Uh, but we're gonna try this before moving on to replacing the bumper because I really don't wanna do that. And then for all of the scratches on the side, I picked up some Turtle Wax Color Magic Jet Black Wax. Now this is specifically for black cars. And uh, I watched a guy on YouTube use this stuff with some microfiber towels on a Honda CRV door handle area that actually had a ton of scratches just like my car and he did like two coats and it completely removed all the scratches so I'm really hoping that this can remove a lot of the scratches I don't want them I don't care if they're all gone but I just want to make it look better if it does look better then I'm going to go ahead and use all of this I'm going to probably do like the door the fender the quarter panel area try to do the whole freaking car just to make it look better but yeah, all things for the exterior of the car. And I'll show you guys the lip that I got for the front bumper a little bit later on. So yeah, let's get to it. First thing we need to do is get the front bumper off to get the headlights out. And then we'll go ahead and install the new headlights. And while the bumper is off, I'm gonna set it right here on my cart. See if we can possibly fill in some of these white dots. Now, I, I, there's so many that like filling in each one is gonna take a million years, but you can kind of see, I tried it a little bit right here yesterday 
and it, it, it definitely kind of sticks out, but it doesn't stick out as much as white dots on a black bumper. So we'll try that first. If it doesn't work out, then I might have to spring for a new bumper. First thing we need to do is remove the front bumper. And in order to do that, we need to remove all of these little clips. And it, you can kind of tell that they are definitely not the OEM style push clips. Uh, the, you know, this bumper might've been off before. So I'm just gonna pop these guys off here and then we'll move to the sides where there are some screws. All right, now on the side, it's really hard to see, but there's a cutout right here and there's a Phillips screw on there. So I just need to take this out on both sides and then we'll be ready to go underneath and I'll show you what they did under the car. And of course on this car, it's actually like a 10 millimeter bolt. Um, the bolt is like loose. That's actually an eight millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll move to underneath the car. So we're moving under the car here and as you can see, they literally had a bungee cord like holding up the splash guard here. It's like falling off. <clears throat> but for the bumper, there's actually a bunch of clips like this. Um, looks like this one is like one of the ones that was up on top, but there's supposed to be like a couple clips right here but it looks like they're all missing because this bumper just got pretty destroyed. And then over here, we have a couple screws right here and right here. So first things first, let's take off this bungee cord. And we can see this whole thing just like flops down. So I'll probably end up taking off this splash guard once the bumper's off, just so it's not just like hanging out doing nothing. But uh, I'm gonna get these clips out and these screws and they'll be ready to pull the bumper off. So I got the front bumper off and the passenger side is looking pretty good. Uh, I don't see anything crazy down here. Uh, this is all intact and stuff. Here's the splash guard I'll probably take out or it looks like it's actually part of the wheel well liner. I don't know, I might cut it, but everything else is looking good. I don't see any damage to the bumper bar or anything like that. But when you move over to the passenger side, there, uh, this whole piece just like broke off. That was part of the splash guard that's hanging down here. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I might have to cut that off or something or maybe zip tie it back together, but it's somehow got destroyed over here, but everything else is looking good. No damage to the bumper bar again. Let me show you guys the bumper. So here's the bumper. I got it off and onto my cart and wow, it is in really bad shape. Uh, this is the is this is a lip right here and can actually be removed and this is what I'll be replacing with uh, This lip right here that I got so this piece I'm not worried about painting or anything because it's literally coming off, but check this out if you look closely This is blue Like this is actually for like maybe this was replaced at some point You know, I, I'm not really sure very very interesting though. So yeah, and the, as far as the bumper goes like this is these are all the white specs that I'm gonna have to basically paint with this touch-up paint that I got and I just don't know if it's worth it because I mean when you look at the finish on the bumper it's so dull from years and years and years of you know being on the road that I just don't know if it's worth it to like dot all these but it's about four hundred dollars for a painted bumper off eBay and I just think that that might look a little bit out of place on this car because you know the hood is not much better and I don't know um, I think I'm going to try to dot all these maybe clean this up I'm not really sure maybe try to use that black wax I got and see if I can like make this any any deeper I don't know but it's looking like I might have to spring for a new bumper I've been looking all over local marketplace and stuff for a black used bumper you can see there's even a big scratch right here 
but I can't seem to find anything. And I don't want to buy a primer bumper and have it painted because it's going to be just about the same as just buying the painted bumper. I'm kind of in a pickle here with this bumper. It's in really bad shape, but I'm really trying to stay on a budget here and I don't want to spend $400 on a bumper. The other option is to spend about 150 bucks and get some sandpaper and some filler primer and you know three or four cans of the Dupacolor Nighthawk Black Pearl and like three or four cans of the 2K Clear and just like rough this up, fill these little chips and paint it myself but I don't really have the time and by the time I'm all done with that, you know, it'll probably be 150, 200 bucks. So it's like, might as well, I don't know, just spend the money on the new bumper. Cause I'm not, I don't paint cars. Before I get really depressed doing the bumper, I'm going to at least do the headlights so that they look really good. Put the new bulbs in and get those mounted and done. So that way when the bumper is done, I can just throw it on and be done with the front end. Got the uh, passenger side headlight out and there was four bolts. Uh, there's one here one right here and then there's actually two that hold on the bracket but like with the bumper off and the headlight out this is actually a really good time to do the water pump so i'm um, contemplating that but when i looked in here i didn't see it's kind of hard to see in here but with a the light there's really no leaking at all and the belt looks really good so i still think i'm going to hold off on doing that but here is the headlight. So now we just need to get the headlight off of the bracket and put the new one on, install the bulbs, and we'll be ready to reinstall. I went ahead and swapped out the old headlights for these new headlights, and I gotta say, it really, really changes the look of the car, especially the passenger side where the headlight was completely fogged up and cracked with bugs and dirt in it, and man, once I figure out the bumper situation and put that back on, this is gonna look so good. So let's test out the LEDs. All right, check these out. I know in the camera you really can't see, but the LEDs are super bright. And I got that little amber running light there. And oh my gosh, it looks so good. Let me show you guys what the turn signals look like. It looks so bright. Again, in the camera, it, it like kind of gets flushed out because it's so bright. But yeah, the turn signals are super bright. As you can see in the back, you can see the LED ones we did in the back. But it looks so good with the new headlights and all these LED lights. Let me turn the light on here. You can kind of see a little bit better just how clear the headlights are with the LED lights and the turn signals. And I mean, this is really just going to make all of the difference so while i'm trying to figure out the bumper figure out what i want to do with that let's go ahead and move on to the door and try out some of this turtle wax color magic now let me show you what i'm talking about here kind of hard to see without light here but there's a bunch of scratches here and right over here by the door so i'm going to try to get basically this whole section up here polished out with that wax and see if it can be any better and if it if it does a really good job I might end up just doing the whole door and then maybe just try to do the whole car I don't know but let's go ahead and get started on that uh, I got some soapy water in a spray bottle I've got a rag for cleaning the soapy water off I got a rag for applying the wax and a rag for wiping the wax off and I'm using this um, Turtle Wax Color Magic specifically for black cars. I'm really hoping that it works. And if you look down on the door here, I put a piece of tape along here right at the crease of the door. So what I wanna do is clean off this top piece, wax it, and maybe do two coats of wax, and then peel the tape off and see what the difference is. I'm really looking forward to seeing if this stuff will take care of these scratches um if it does really good like i said i'm gonna try to just do the whole car because um it definitely needs it 
the turtle wax polish stuff is not really working that great now in the light you can still see a bunch of scratches right here and there's still some down here i did two coats two pretty heavy coats on the scratches here let it haze wiped it off real good and then i even did two coats of that mirror glaze stuff that i had just to see if it would do anything and that didn't really seem to help much either so that's definitely disappointing i mean it looks better but you can still in in the light and in real life you can still see all the scratches so unfortunately i'm not really sure what to do at this point i might go back to looking for a door that doesn't have all these scratches on it my my buddy over at harry's mobile detailing said that he could uh do use a da on the door and probably get most of the scratches out and on the quarter panel too but you know then the the fender and the roof and the rear bumper will all look different you know this will all be nice and shiny and the rest of the car won't so uh you know then i'd have to pay for a full detail of the whole car and it might be worth him coming out to detail the car and i know it would make it look a lot better but you know do i spend the money on that or not i'll need to make a decision on that but unfortunately the uh the wax didn't seem to do as good of a job as i thought it might do i did decide to go with a new bumper spent the money on the new painted bumper and it's going to look really good especially with the new headlights so i don't need to have that detailed It'll just be the rest of the car, the hood, the doors, the fenders, the roof, everything like that. So that's kind of where I'm at with the car currently. So I'm waiting for the new bumper to come in. Uh, that should be in here in the next few days. And then we'll throw that on and I'll have I'll made a decision on getting the car detailed or not. It has been a few days and I finally received my new bumper and it happens to be very, very nice. Uh, really surprised with the uh, the shipping part of it and uh, how well they actually painted it for an economy paint job. Now, I also decided to just go ahead and get the car detailed. I just thought, you know, it'll look really good if I just get it detailed and just spend the money. So I went ahead and did that as well. Unfortunately, uh, my guy I usually go to, um, Harry's Mobile Detailing, wasn't available and I needed to get it done this week. So I went to a place nearby me where I've gotten my windows tinted before and they did a really good job. So the car turned out absolutely amazing. So without further ado, let me show you the car after the detail, after the new bumper is installed. And I'll tell you why I did not install the lip I got. Check this thing out. It doesn't even look like the same car with the new headlights and the new bumper. Uh, I bought an OEM lip to go on there as well. And just look at the paint shine. It is so nice. Let me show you guys around the other side here. You can totally see my reflection too. The paint looks so good. They did such a really good job getting everything shined up. And yeah, look at this. <laughs> I can't even believe it. it does not look like the same car. Like even the hood, remember how the hood was? I mean, it looks shiny now. I mean, there's still rock chips and stuff, but it looks so shiny. And yeah, here's the door where all those scratches were. I mean, they're, they're pretty much gone. They're still a little bit there, but like the scratches that were on the fender pretty much gone. I mean, the paint on this car turned out so, so well. Now it looks like a really polished up 20 year old car and not something that was what I think might have been behind a RV for years and years. But here's the uh, new bumper and it turned out really well. I thought they did a really good job. Fitment was good. Uh, paint is really good. The reason for the OEM lip is because the lip that I got I was going to use with the old bumper so I wasn't really worried about scratching it or anything like that but when I decided to get the new bumper I didn't really want to put the lip over it because it actually goes over part of the bumper right here and it's really hard to mount with one person and stuff so I just decided to go with just the OEM lip, um, it's, it still looks really, really good. So I'm probably gonna end up selling that other lip that I got, um, it's just not for me anymore. But wow, I mean, the transformation that this car went through just by getting detailed is just absolutely crazy. They did a wash, clay bar, wax, and polish on the whole car, and then when I added the new bumper and the new headlights, it just 
makes the whole thing pop. Super happy with it. Yeah, look at the roof here. Even the, <laughs> the roof looks so good. All the paint looks so good. Now, it does show, um, you know, it does show all these white dots. You know, so any kind of rock chip or dent, you can now see really well. But, I mean, compared to what it was, it just looks phenomenal. What a transformation that car went through in this video. Uh, I, I'm just totally blown away at, you know, how, how it looks now. I mean, now it actually looks like a really nice car. And I feel like, you know, doing that detailing, spending the money on the bumper, the lip, and the detail is really going to give me a good return on investment. I think I'm going to be able to list it for higher when it's time to sell it. So in the next video, we are going to focus on performance mods. Um, in the budget, I only had enough really for an intake and coilovers. Uh, I got some cheap coilovers, but they are brand new. And then we're going to take the car over and get it aligned at Peak Innovation Motorsports. Unfortunately, probably have them replace the front wheel bearings as well. And that's really going to max me out on my budget for the car. But at that point, it will be dialed. You know, and everything will be done. It'll have new wheel bearings, everything. So um, look forward to that video coming up here in a couple weeks. By the way, if you see my wall all empty like that, it's because I'm redoing the entire wall where my cabinets were and the workbench. Uh, there were some unpainted sections, so I took everything off the wall and painted it. And um, now I'm going to be putting stuff back up, and that's why the wall is empty. So if you were wondering, uh, that is why. So in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, people seem to really be enjoying the part two video. Um, it's it's kind of blowing up a little bit, so hopefully this video is the same. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.